so satisfying. I'm reviewing my first Korean foundation today. I have been wanting to try out Korean foundations for a little while now. I've been seeing a few people post reviews on the Tear Tear Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. I believe that they actually just expanded their shade range, which we love. We love inclusivity. They've got deeper shades now. They've got more tones and everything. And I've been loving the finish that I've been seeing on everyone. So I thought I would go ahead and grab my color and give it a try and share my review with you guys. Full disclosure, I am re-recording right now because I accidentally deleted my intro. But the good news about that is that there is like one thing that I do want to correct a little bit in my initial recording. You guys will hear me complain that this color, which I got 33N, which is a neutral color, I was complaining that it was like really yellow on me and I needed to balance it out. But I was doing my makeup in here when I did the review, but to do my makeup today, I was outside at my vanity in front of natural light and I am wearing the foundation right now. So here's a little preview of it. But I noticed when I was out of my vanity, it was a lot less yellow. So in natural light, the color matched a lot better. I will say though, it still does pull a little bit yellow, but not as much as I was saying it did later in this video. So just wanted to put that disclaimer in there, keep that in mind when I'm talking about the color match. But anyways, yeah, I was so excited to try a Korean foundation. This one I believe is like the number one selling foundation in Japan, which is pretty cool. So I think it was definitely a good Korean foundation to start out with. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, and for everyone watching, please make sure to like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know if there are any like Korean skincare foundations or just beauty in general that you want me to try out and review here on this channel or just any that you recommend I definitely would love to try more of them but anyways let's go ahead and dig into the review so as I said the foundation that I got is the tear tear mask fit red cushion foundation this says it's a mask shield with enriched coverage and besides it just being foundation it's supposed to have like some skin benefit properties it says that it's brightening and also anti-wrinkle which for me are two things that I look for when it comes to skincare oh it says it's the adhering cushion foundation which means that's supposed to stay fresh for hours long as long as you also use a lightweight powder and have proper skincare on so I do have my moisturizer and SPF on in case you're curious what I use I have been ride or die for this moisturizer this is the coolest sunless tan anti-aging daily moisturizer this literally does give your skin a little bit of a tan I do try to keep my face out of the Sun as much as possible so I like the fact that this gives me a sunless tan on there and then for my moisturizer I use the live tinted SPF 50 skin tint which even though it's marketed as a skin tint it's actually a mineral sunscreen so that is what I have on my face right now and we're gonna go ahead and prime I'm going out to dinner tonight but I want to film some other videos before we go so I need my makeup to last through a lot of lights and stuff so this is the combination that I've been really liking lately I use the elf liquid poreless putty primer just to fill in right here in the middle wherever I just like might have a little bit of texture or wherever I want to fill in my pores a little bit and then for the rest of my face I've been loving this one from Refi this is their glow and sculpt face primer it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the hydro grip primer it just like gets really tacky and it's gonna make your makeup last for a long time so let me go ahead Ahead and clip my hair back. I just did a faux blowout, so I'm like gonna clip it loosely so that I don't mess it up too much. Going in with the e.l.f. one first, just a little dot, and then just right here, right on the cheeks, and then center of my forehead. This one will also mattify just a little bit, so that's why I like it, especially in this T-zone area. And then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with the Refi face primer, which you guys, look at this applicator, it's a roller. I'm not gonna lie, that was like a big part of why I even like purchased this. I thought that it was like very unique and cool. I'm gonna be honest, the roller itself, I feel like it doesn't do a ton because you still gotta like rub it in. So really it's more of a gimmick than anything, but I still think it's cool and I do like the formula on this. So I'm just gonna kind of work it into the skin, let it get a little bit tacky. And then I'm also gonna let both of these sit for a second to like really sink into the skin before I go in with the foundation. So while that sinks into my skin, let's go ahead and unbox this. Again, I got 33N Macchiato, which I think is like a medium or medium tan neutral color, which is typically what works for me. First off, that is such cool packaging. I, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's very, very sleek and I love the red on this. And then you just press it and it opens right up. Oh wow, that's, that's really nice. That's a nice presentation. I like that a lot. I also love the fact that this comes with a mirror. Oh, so satisfying. So as you guys can see, it comes with the little puff to apply it with. So we are gonna apply it with the puff like it's suggested. And then this is cool. The door opens the other way. And then let's go ahead peel this off okay this might be a little bit more of a summer shade for me but that's fine we can make it work once i go to conceal it's gonna be like just a touch dark on my face but it should be fine 
So there it is. If anything, when it comes to foundation, I prefer to go too light rather than too dark because especially since I do a lot of like video and photos, if my foundation is too light, especially if there's a flash, it just makes my face so, so white. So I prefer to start a little bit darker. My concealer usually is like a shade or two lighter than my foundation is. So usually that helps to like even it out and make it match a lot better. But I just think that this packaging is so cool. This is so nice, especially if you like want to bring it with you for anything or travel with it. I love how compact it is. Like I said, this is a Korean beauty brand but apparently this is like the number one foundation in japan which i think speaks volumes i love asian beauty i love how like natural it is it's just like enhancing your natural features typically not too far over the top unless you're like specifically doing glam so taking the little sponge i'm gonna press it in okay you have to press a little bit hard to pick up the foundation but there it is and then i guess just Tap it in. Oh, okay, actually this color isn't too bad. It's a little, wow, well, for, for it being a quote unquote neutral foundation, this is pretty warm. I was not expecting that, but wow. Oh my gosh. I think it's looking shinier than it is in real life on the camera, but this legit just like looks like skin. This is so nice. And I do have to say, I like this uh, applicator. Yeah, it just looks like skin. It's not too cakey or anything. It just blends seamlessly into my skin. So we're just gonna do half the face so that you guys can see the difference. So this side has foundation. You guys can tell because it's just like a tad darker than this side and it's also warmer than this side. But like skin wise, it looks really, really natural. And it does let your skin show through a little bit. I think you can build the coverage if you want like a little bit of a heavier application. But I actually kind of like when my skin shows through with my foundations lately. I'm more into that, like, not natural, but just like enhanced beauty. Like, not anything over the top. Your skin would better kind of a look. And then for anyone wondering, I did get this foundation off of Amazon, so it's really easy to access if you want to try it. But if anything, I would say it's just like a little bit too yellow, which is so odd, because again, I got the neutral. I debated getting warm, I'm glad I didn't, because if I had gotten warm, it would be way too yellow. So I don't know, I wonder if like, I should have gone cool, which I typically don't like to do. I feel like cool makes me look sickly, but like I said, this is pulling way warmer than I expected it to. So color-wise, I'm a little bit confused on you know, how to properly pick your color in this. Oh my god, I just foundationed my hair, but it's fine. Yeah, a little bit confused on picking out a color with this, because neutral should have pulled more neutral, <laughs> which, you know, makes sense. But formula-wise, this is really, really beautiful on the skin. This looks so, so good, especially, like I said, in person here. Oh, I need to work it in a little bit more. A couple of areas. I will say though, if you are an oily girl like me, you are definitely gonna need to mattify with a powder. You guys can see there's a lot of shine peeking through and everything. Also too, I am sweating right now. It is hot in this bathroom. There's just like no airflow. So that's a little bit of it as well, but you definitely will need a powder over top. But let me go ahead and grab my concealer and contour and like the rest of like the face products and we'll apply it on top and see how it blends. So going in with concealer first, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is 35N medium. I feel like the Tarte concealers pull a little bit light. I just do medium and some medium light, but this should help balance out the rest of the face. That along with my contour, which for the contour today, I want something that's like very neutral just because this pulled so warm. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the medium tan contour color. Just a couple dots. And all the usual places. And let's blend this in. Well, it's blending in very nicely with the foundation, so no issues there with the e.l.f. contour. Yeah, it's working in really nicely not patchy or separating or anything like that. I feel like already it's taking some of that yellow away. So I'll still be able to work with this foundation. I was wondering if I was gonna need to exchange it, but I think I'll just keep it, it'll be fine. Then the concealer, I did a lot of concealer, I just realized, my bad. Typically just do a dot, I don't know why I ended up doing this. I feel like that helped a lot. Like if you look at this side compared to this side, this side feels more yellow, but once I like worked in the concealer on my under eyes, which the concealer color I use is very, very neutral. That definitely helps a lot. So yeah, be aware when you're picking your foundation color with this that it does in fact 
pull a little bit yellow, even when it says neutral. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more balanced now. It was pulling really, really yellow, especially in person. Now this looks perfectly like my color. So let's go ahead and set some areas with powder. So underneath the under eyes, for sure this forehead. I am so shiny up there. Oh, and then I wanted to, I realized I have to contour my nose after I do the concealer because the concealer and the contour kept mixing together whenever I would apply both at the same time and then try to blend them in separately. So lesson learned, that works way better. Yeah, this looks so much better once I did the rest of my makeup. It for sure needs some adjustments. But anyways, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup. I think I'll go ahead and wear this out to dinner and give you guys an update after I've filmed in it, gone to dinner, all of that stuff. All right, it's the end of the night. I almost started washing my face off. Thank God I remembered I was gonna do the check-in here. So here is what the Tear Tear foundation is looking like at the end of the night. Still looks very, very skin-like. I think like the area where it's just foundation and maybe a little bit of like translucent powder is like right here. So that's probably the best indicator of it. But yeah, just kind of like melted into the skin really really nicely so overall i do have to say i really like this foundation i'm definitely gonna be including it in my rotation i think i had it on since like four and right now it's about like 10 so that's about a six hour wear and it still looks pretty good so i'm definitely loving it as far as the claims on like the skin benefits and stuff go obviously that's not something that i'm gonna really know after one wear but it's kind of nice that this foundation claims to have those types of skin benefits to it but anyways like i said it is the end of the night i am gonna go ahead and take my makeup off and settle down for the night so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other questions on the Tear Tear Foundation or if you have any recommendations of other like Asian beauty brands or Asian beauty products that you think I should try, definitely leave me a comment down below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. And I love you guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon again in my next video. Bye.